guys welcome to my baby essential video here i'm going to be talking about all the baby essentials from six to nine months let's go ahead and get started so from six to nine months a lot happens with a baby i feel like with edily this is where we saw like a lot of change and she started trying to crawl now she already stands up by herself and the most important thing they start eating let's go ahead and start with the category for food what i started feeding edily was cereal i just started doing um oatmeal's baby cereal the reason why i chose oatmeal was because they say rice can upset the baby's belly a little bit more and edily has always had like little stomach issues so i wanted to go for a safer route so i did oatmeal i started with cereal once a day um for the first week it's the baby is the happy baby another reason you want to go ahead and introduce baby cereal is because if you're breastfeeding around six months your breast milk starts losing iron so you want to go ahead and introduce that to your baby so this brand is all organic and it only has three ingredients so that makes it better it's just oatmeal and vitamin c and iron okay so that's how i started and then i went ahead and bought baby essentials that your baby's going to need if they start solids which is spoons and a little plate this is not really like that big of a deal uh, i know that there are some have like a suction cup that you can put in the table but i feel like i didn't need that yet because i'm not letting her feed herself or putting this on the high share i don't put it there i hold it myself and i just feed her it's not really that expensive and it, and it does the job but i also got two um two sets of different spoons but I like both. They work. They do the job. Uh, just be prepared because they do stain. So don't think that this is all going to be pretty when they start eating. Because if you give them foods like carrots, sweet potato, which Edely loves carrots and sweet potato. And they stain. Or pumpkin. That stains. So their spoons are going to be stained. And so are their little plates. No matter what you buy. Unless you buy like glass. But I don't think you're going to be having glass around baby. So if you have any plastic or silicone little thingy, it will stain. Be aware of that. That it's not going to be pretty. So another baby essential from six to nine months, blender. If you're going to puree their food, you need a blender. So I use the baby bullet blender, which I will link down below on the description box. So make sure you go ahead and check everything out because I'll have everything linked under the description box. If you buy the set of the baby bullet blender, it comes with these little cups where you can put the date that you made the food and store it and it's ready for them to eat at any time. So these really helped me, especially at the beginning when she ate like smaller portions. So I love it because you can put the date that you made it. So I prepare foods for three days in advance. No longer than that. It's usually just three days in advance. And if I do prepare it for other times, I go ahead and put it in the freezer. So this allows me to know when did I make the food. So I go ahead and put it like, I made the food on the 9th and I put it there. And it's really good. It holds about two ounces. It comes with a little rack that you can all stack them and put them in the fridge and they're ready to go. So I really like that. Now, as they get older, seven or eight months, they want to be with you, enjoy the time with you, and basically do what you're doing. So if you're eating, they want to eat. They want to try the stuff that you're eating. We sit Edily in her high chair right next to us every breakfast when we're eating and i use this which in my morning routine video you can see this so this is a self feeder you go ahead and put like i usually put like fruits strawberries banana mango edgily loves mango so i should shop it up put it in here and give it to her and she feeds herself like she sucks on it it entertains her which is one of the main part when you start introducing solace to your baby you also start introducing water but before six months ella had not tried any water so this was a completely new thing for her 
and I tried just giving her water and her bottle because she was used to that and I thought well she's gonna take it well she hated it she did not drink any water from her bottle so I didn't know what to do I talked to her pediatrician about it she said not to be worried that your baby is going to drink water when they feel the need to do so so they don't know what thirst feels like so when you start introducing more solids they will know what it feels like and they will ask for the water themselves and that's what happened but she still wouldn't like the bottle so they said to try a sippy cup and I went ahead and tried some I think I tried about like three different sippy cups and she just did not like it she did not know how to use it and then I started watching videos on YouTube and I came by this. This to me is a lifesaver. I was really skeptical about it at first because I was like, how is she going to suck the water out of this cup? Like, is she going to know how to use it? She's just six months. She's not going to know how to use it. She loves this thing. At the beginning, it took her a little bit, but she loves this thing. So it has like a little silicone thing here. And then the water... It currently has water right now. The water, when she sucks on it, boop, I kind of pushed it, that's why. So the water, when she sucks on it, it comes out. But if you tip it over or shake it or anything, nothing's going to happen. No water's going to spill, which is very important because she literally grabs this on the side of her high chair and throws it on the ground. And what I love about it most is that she has become independent. And, well, it kind of hurts too, but <laughs> she's becoming a little independent baby and really makes it easy. This is the only thing she will drink water out of and she loves it. So I really like this and I really, really, really recommend it. Another thing that you want is bibs. So I started out with a simple, you know, regular cloth bibs. And those work out for me, but these bibs right here are the best. It's like a silicone little mat, and aren't they so cute? I got them at Target. They're from the brand Clout Island, and they're so easy to clean. And all the food falls in here. It doesn't fall on her clothes. It just falls in this little pocket that they have here. These, you can just wipe them up, and you're good to go. One of the things that, in my personal opinion, it's one of the best things that I could have done for my daughter regarding foods and solids and everything is introducing a probiotic. So a probiotic is very essential for your baby's stomach. It helps her digest the food and have all those good bacteria that she needs to help with her digestion. Especially if you're introducing all these new foods that her little belly is not used to. So I used this probiotic since at least like three months because she was always in so much pain and this helped her so you can start it at three months i would always check with your pediatrician and do your research before you do anything but i do use a probiotic i'll link it down below and i'll put a picture right here of what it looks like it has like a little spoon inside and you put it in her milk every day once a day and you're good to go at three months i did not do the whole spoon it makes everything better it helps her with the, her digestion and makes her less gassy i love it so i really suggest you do your own research and look into it because it really does help so moving on from the food category playtime around this time they start moving a lot more and learning to do things by themselves and they interact more with toys so when it comes to the things that they can play in, the pediatrician to me recommended that the best thing for her was being on the ground, not buying any walkers. So I didn't buy any walkers. I would suggest that you do your own research on it. I did my own research and I didn't really like it. I don't think it's really necessary. Um, people have the belief that if you buy your baby a walker, they will learn how to walk faster. But if you do your own research, you will find out that that's not really the case. But I just prefer to avoid that and I just didn't buy a walker. I got her a little exerciser, the little thing that they jump on. And she loves this thing. She doesn't spend her whole time there. You really want to make sure that you're putting them on the ground. But if you were 
gonna buy something i would buy the exerciser i really like it because it has a lot of things for them to play with interact it's not just like two toys and a mirror it's more than that so she really does like it and it has a lot of colors so if you're gonna get a big toy or something like that i would get that but the most important thing that has really helped edily um learn how to sit and play around and it also gives you a peace of mind it's her little gym play area so she has a little mat on the floor that my mom gave to her and a little fence that her um that my mother-in-law gave to her and she loves that it makes me have a peace of mind because she's in there and i know she can't get out she can't go and be on their things or touching things she's not supposed to because that's her area with all her toys one of the toys that i recommend buying is these it's like a little um suction toy for her high share so if you're by yourself a lot of the time i recommend these because if you're trying to prepare the food or do something else just sit them in their high share and they just play around with it so i really like these i have like two of these that were gifted to her and she loves it you just put them there and all set another one is these little stackers which they're not in the right right now because she was playing with them we're not at the point where she can stack them up yet but she can definitely take them off which is a good thing you want them to know all of that so hopefully she'll start stacking them that's it for the toys okay now for bath time edley loves bath time she loves it every time we take her out of it she has a fit well now she's at the time where she can actually sit and you can um bathe her while she's sitting now what do i use to bathe her so edley has very very dry skin and a, like very bad eczema I, I had eczema when i was a baby and i had eczema until about i was like nine years old it was pretty pretty bad so it didn't come as a surprise when she had it too i've tried everything and nothing nothing really worked I actually made it worse and if you have a baby with eczema hot makes it worse like hot temperatures the food she eats the area like dust everything makes it work so i actually found something that works and that is wonderful and it's the mustela i believe it also has a cleansing cream for the baby and i love this thing because it's for really really dry extremely dry skin which she has it it's just great i really really recommend it now usually from six to um nine months people start putting their babies to sleep and training them to sleep in their crib but edily has been sleeping in her crib since she's about three months old we have like a little bassinet and she's used it but she already started rolling over and the bassinet didn't give her enough space to roll over at three months so scratch that and we started using the crib and she's been using it ever since I can definitely do a video on how to transition your baby to a crib because it did take me a while and there was a lot of sleepless nights but it worked and that's where she sleeps at now so another thing that i use every night is her sleep sack not only is it safe you shouldn't use a blanket and you can sleep with the peace of mind she knows that when we put this on it's time to sleep and that it's night time it's not nap time it's night time which means four to eight hours to more of sleep so she knows that this is the real deal she knows this is sleep and she loves it it also keeps her warm not too warm not too cold it's not that thick it's perfect for her i really like it and i really recommend it she has two right now at the moment and i'm gonna go ahead and buy more so another thing that i use for her night routine is a sound machine i think that it really helps her realize that it's night time and that she needs to go to sleep now and it also brings a little noise into her room they don't like Ellie doesn't like when it's like all quiet she likes a little noise i use this i'll link it down below i love this one because it connects to your phone you can turn it on turn it off or put the volume up change the music change the color because it also lights up and it lights up the room and you can do it all through your phone so when Emily wakes up and she's here in her crib in her nursery i'm at my room i go ahead and turn it off from my phone sometimes i forget to turn it off and i'm in the kitchen like preparing breakfast i just turn it off with my phone and it's great if i feel like it's too loud i can fix it they also say that blue light promotes sleep 
So I put the blue light every day for her to sleep in and I put like ocean waves in the background because I'm not a really big fan of like baby music. I don't know, it just drives me crazy. So I put relaxing stuff like waves or like rain stuff like that like white noise that's what i put i've done this with her since she was born so she knows that this is night nighttime routine she knows that this is bedtime and that she needs to sleep so it helps you let her know the difference between day and night so i love it okay guys that's all my baby essentials from six to nine months i hope that you guys liked it and that it can really help you guys I'll have everything down in the description box so that you can find it yourself. And I hope that you guys really enjoyed it and that this really helped you. And until next time, bye!